What if I told you there's a dimension beyond time, a place where past, present, and future exist at once? Interstellar introduced us to the fifth dimension, but is it real science or just sci-fi? Let's break it down. According to Einstein's general relativity, we live in a four-dimensional universe, three dimensions of space, length, width, height, and one of time. But what if there was a fifth dimension beyond our perception? In Interstellar, this is what allows Cooper to navigate time physically inside the Tesseract. To understand this, imagine a two-dimensional world, a flat surface where beings only see length and width, no depth. If a three-dimensional object enters their world, they'd only see a slice of it at a time. Now apply this to us. We're three-dimensional beings experiencing time linearly, but what if a five-dimensional being exists? They'd see all of time at once, just like we see an entire three-dimensional object. In Interstellar, the fifth dimension is where time becomes physical. Cooper can move through Murph's room at different points in time, like walking through a library of moments. This concept comes from string theory, which suggests the universe may have 10 or even 11 dimensions. The extra dimensions could be curled up too small for us to see, but if we could access them, we might even manipulate time itself. So, could the fifth dimension really exist? Maybe. And if it does, time travel might not be impossible after all. This is part of our playlist, Interstellar Physics Explained, where we uncover the real science behind the movie. Subscribe for more mind-blowing physics.